Hello and welcome to my channel. I have a project I'm getting ready to start and I just know you're going to want to stick around and see this. My husband and I have been renovating his childhood home for the past six months. So this is just one of many projects that I'm going to be sharing with you. Because of the different elevations between the existing part of the house and the new addition, we had to add some steps here and there. Once the steps were complete, I wanted to give them a little extra character. A little pep, you might say. That's why I'm calling this video, Put a Pep in Your Step. Let's get started. I found this tile at Lowe's. It was just perfect because I was looking for something with a little bit of color and a wood grain look. I am using this tile adhesive. It's pre-mixed and easy to use. I chose this all-in-one grout in the color Alabaster. A 9 inch flooring trowel with square notch on one side and a V notch on the other side. A 9 inch rubber grout float. A large grout sponge. A large bucket for water. A 5 in 1 tool. A pair of scissors. Since this is a small project, I will be using a snap cutter which will cut my tile for me. I will explain throughout the video what each tool does and how to use it. Now let's get this project started. First you're going to start with your tile. I absolutely love this tile. The mesh backing on the back of these mosaic tiles holds everything in place and really made this project so much easier because I could cut everything to size with scissors. Well, almost everything. I did have to trim off some of the edges with the snap cutter, which is what I'm doing now. I marked with a pencil where I'm going to be trimming off the tile with the snap cutter. On the bottom steps, I had to use a tape measure to mark my tile. Don't be deceived by this little guy. He packs a mean punch. I lined up my pencil mark with the center of the snap cutter. With tiles like this, I found it much easier to press them together and hold them in place. I also found it easier to run the snap cutter over a couple tiles at a time instead of the entire tile. And uh, keep your fingers out of the way. All right, that's done. That was pretty easy. The pieces come right off I recommend using scissors to trim the pieces off. That way you get the mesh backing as well. For this project, it was so much easier for me to have all of my pieces cut and ready to go. Last one. Now it's time to trowel on the tile adhesive. I'm using the nine inch flooring trowel and I'm using the square notch side. So the reason why you want to use this type of trowel is because it helps the adhesive or mortar spread evenly. This helps the tile lay flat and adhere properly. Small areas like this can be kind of messy, so I'm going to use a medium sized flat trowel to apply the tile adhesive first and then use the square notch side of the flooring trowel. I like to work in sections, that way I have a little bit more time before the adhesive sets up. Now it's time to put the tile in place. Press the tile firmly into the adhesive. Try to do it as evenly as possible. Don't worry if some of the adhesive comes out between the tile. You can just clean that up easily with a wet rag or sponge. Now I'm just repeating the steps until all the tile is in place. As you can see, some of the areas on my steps had some weird things going on. I had wood in one area, concrete in another, so this really helped hide some of those areas.
All right, last piece. Now it's time to clean up and let it dry. The adhesive is dry and the tile is ready to grout. I like mixing the grout a little bit at a time and a little bit goes a long way. Oh yeah, and you might want to wear a mask. Things can get a little dusty. I say I've got about a cup or two of grout already in the bucket. I'm just gonna add some water a little bit at a time and stir it until I get the consistency that I'm looking for. I'm looking for almost a thick cream cheese kind of consistency. If your grout is too thin, it will just run out of all of the crevices. If it's too thick, it'll set up quick. Hey, that rhymes. Now it's time to bust out the rubber grout float. Man, that was a tongue twister. I'm putting down a garbage bag just to kind of protect some of the areas because this gets messy. Now it's time to trowel on this grout. I am grouting over the entire surface to make sure everything is covered and all the recessed areas are filled. I'm using my fingers to get the grout in areas where my trowel can't reach. Now it's time to clean off all of the excess grout. Make sure you keep rinsing your sponge out so it keeps it nice and clean. I repeat this step several times until I get all of the grout cleaned off of the tile. All clean and I'm finished. And here's my little helper, Chesty. Well, hello again, sweet face. Little man, I love you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a minute to like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that bell and select all so you can keep up with all of the projects and videos that I will be posting. If you have any suggestions, comments, or questions, or even ideas for any of my next videos, please leave them below. Until next time, see ya!